doing my weekly water changes in my aquariums. I usually do them on Tuesday afternoons or Wednesdays. And this is my 125 gallon tank, which is my largest tank. And this one is filtered with two filters. This first filter is a FX6 and it filters 563 gallons per hour. There's also a Rena XP3 on this tank and it filters 350 gallons per hour. That is a pump that is hooked to a water changer that is pumping water out of the tank and out the window. I have the hose running out the window. And this is how I managed to do such large water changes in these tanks. Okay, now I have this tank filling back up. I have a long hose that reaches to the bathroom faucet. And this is how I do my water changes. So I get asked a lot how I maintain these big tanks for the amount of water changes I do each week and for the gallons of water I move. But this is how. Pump siphons it out the window. And then I just fill it back up. And this tank, like I said, is 24 years old and has a tendency to want to pull a little bit of acidic on me. These fish in here, the angelfish, the rummy nose tetras, the denison barbs, which are in hiding somewhere. There's a bunch of them in here. They prefer their water a little bit acidic, but not too acidic. So to keep their pH where I want it at 6.8, when I do the water change, I add half a teaspoon of baking soda into the tank. This regular old baking soda. And that helps keep their water from getting too acidic. But the baking soda makes their water a little bit more alkaline. And all I do, I just dump it right into the tank. And while my 125 gallon is filling up, I have the goldfish tank, the 90 gallon goldfish tank is draining. Again, it's got the pump hooked to it and it's draining out the window. And these are some of the plants. And again, these are all watered with fish water from the Planet Aquarium. So there's already plant food in there and the plants love it. They do great with the fish water. Very pretty, very full. So if you have an aquarium, use your fish water to water your plants with. And here you can see my 125 is still filling up. And here's the goldfish tank back up and running. All right, the 125 is completely filled back up. All the filters and pumps are back up and running. So all the fish are happy now. And again, this is done every week. 